So for, um, for number 43, we do want to find how much further Kelly travels with Chris during the first 10 seconds. Um, so we, we have that velocity equals distance over time. Um, also, this means that V2 minus V1 is equal to D2 minus D1 over time. So when we multiply this out, we do have that V2 minus V1 times time is equal to D2 minus D1, which is what we want, right? So we're, we're, what we're really doing is we're going, okay, delta V times time is equal to delta D. So uh, we're going to multiply delta V by time so that we can get delta D, which is the, the difference of distance between, uh, between Kelly and Chris. Now, um, the way that we're going to, to do this is that we're going to use the midpoint rule. So really, we're going to evaluate it at these, let me just zoom it in, at these points over here. At these points over here. So I am taking the midpoint um, in a two-second interval. And we just have to remember that the midpoint rule is, if I have a function that goes something like this, and I have A, you know, B, and C, and I want to, and B is a midpoint between A and C, and I want to find the area here, I could use the midpoint rule where I evaluate, um, I evaluate the function here at B, and then I just multiply it by C minus A to get the, the area of this rectangle. So what we're going to do is we're going to evaluate it at the midpoint between two seconds, and then we're going to multiply um, by the, the base here, which is which is a base of two seconds. So for this one over here, <clears throat> we do have to, um, and, and one thing that's interesting to notice is that the velocity of each car is in miles per hour. So miles per hour, we do have to change that into miles per, um, per second because the times are in second. So uh, miles, mile per hour is the same thing as mile Per, let's see, an hour has 60 times 60, so mile per um, 3,600 seconds. So this is the uh, conversion that we're going to use. So um, now let's just evaluate this, right? So this is, at the first midpoint, we have 22 minus 20 miles per hour. So, uh, and I'll, I'll write this kind of in a, a, a long-winded kind of way, just so that you guys can really follow what I'm doing step by step. So over here, we do have that this is 22 minus 20 um, miles per hour, per hour, right, which is 3,600 seconds, and then times, remember that it's delta V times T, right? So times, we're looking at a, an interval of two seconds, times two seconds, so that is um, the first the first area, and we're going to have five different uh, chunks of area, right? So the first chunk is here, the second chunk, the third chunk is from four to six, the fourth chunk is from six to eight, and the fifth chunk is from eight to ten. So that is the first chunk. The second goes um, 52 minus 46, so that is delta V, mile per 36 100 seconds times 2 seconds, because that is times 4 minus 2, and then plus, let's see, this is 71 minus 62 mile over 3,600 seconds times 2 seconds, um, because that would be times 6 minus 4, and then plus 86 minus 75 times mile over 3,600 seconds times two seconds and then lastly we have um we have 98 minus 86 so 98 minus 86 mile per 3600 seconds times two seconds so all we did here was really just uh we're summing up our our um delta v's times our 
what is really our delta T's, right? Evaluated at our midpoint, um, at our midpoints. And we're, we're summing up this five times. So all that's missing for us is to kind of um, do the math here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to factor out the 2 over 3600, which is what they all have in common. And then this is 22 minus 20. So that is 2 plus, that is 52 minus 46 plus 6. Um, 71 minus 62 plus 9, and then 86 minus 75, so plus 11, and then 98 plus 80, minus 86, so plus 12. Um, so this is 1 over 1800 times, let's see, 2 plus 6 plus 9 plus 11 plus 12 times 40, um, which gives us, let's see, 40 over 1800, uh, which gives us 1 over 45. Oh, and I, I can't forget my units, right? 1 over 45. Um, I cannot forget my units. So this is 2 seconds times 3,600 seconds. So the seconds cancel out. And this is, um, and then this is just miles, right? These units that we're summing up are the miles because we factor out the seconds. So all we have here is <clears throat> 1 over 45 miles. So that is, or, um, or this is also equal to like 0 0.0222 um, miles. And that is the difference in distance between Kelly and Chris during the first um, the first 10 seconds.